Hi guys, OpenAI just released GPT-40 and it's amazing. Now before we move on to look at the capabilities of GPT-40, I'd just like to have the views of Sam Altman. So in his blog post, Sam Altman said, there are two things from this announcement today I want to highlight. First, as a key part of our mission is to put very capable AI tools in the hands of people for free or at a great price. I'm very proud that we have made the best model in the world available for free in ChatGPT without ads or anything like that. Our initial conception when we started OpenAI was that we would create AI and use it to create all sorts of benefits for the world. Instead, it now looks like we'll create AI and then other people will use it to create all sorts of amazing things that we all benefit from. We are a business and we find plenty of things to charge for and that will help us provide free outstanding AI service to hopefully billions of people. The second thing is the new voice and video mode is the best computer interface I've ever used. It feels like AI from the movies and it's still a bit surprising to me that it's real. Getting to a human level response times and expressiveness turns out to be a big change. The original ChatGPT showed a hint of what was possible with language interfaces. This new thing feels viscerally different. It is fast, smart, fun, natural and helpful. Talking to a computer has never felt natural. Now it does. As we add optional personalization, access to our information, the ability to take action on your behalf and more. I can see an exciting future where we are able to use computers to do much more than ever before. Finally, huge thanks to the team that poured so much work into making this happen. Now let's move back to GPT-40. So this is the newest version of the OpenAI's large language model, GPT-40, where it combines the text, speech and voice capabilities. Now, if you head over to the uh, blog post of OpenAI, you can see a bunch of demos with the GPT-40. You can have a look at it yourself. But when we explore and see the capabilities, it is very fun to look at. So GPT-40 is the newest flagship model that provides GPT-4 level intelligence, but is much faster and improves on the capability of text, vision, and voice. Today, GPT-40 is much better than any existing models it understands at understanding and discussing the images you share. For example, you can now take a picture of a menu in a different language and talk to GPT-40 to translate it. Learn about the food habits, history and significance and get recommendations. In the future, improvements will allow for natural, more natural, real-time voice conversation and the ability to converse in ChatGPT via real-time video. For example, you could show ChatGPT a live sports game and ask it to explain the rules to you. We plan to launch a new voice mode with all these new capabilities in an alpha in the coming weeks with early access for plus users as we roll out more broadly. That is pretty amazing. Another feature that we have is you can have voice conversation with ChatGPT directly from your computer, starting with voice mode that has been available in ChatGPT at launch and GPT-4O's new audio and video capabilities coming in the future. They're also rolling out the Mac OS app to plus users starting today which is 13th of May 2024, and we make it more broadly available in the coming weeks. We got a more simplified and look and feel for the ChatGPT interface. Now that is great. So let's look at a demo. Hey, how's it going? Hey there, it's going great. How about you? I see you're rocking an open AI hoodie. Nice choice. What's up with that ceiling though? Are you in a cool industry style office or something? Well, can you take a guess at what I might be doing based on what I'm showing you here? Hmm. From what I can see, it looks... Well, you can see the uh, real-time video 
to understanding and giving the feedback giving the output from text to speech that is pretty fast looks like you're in some kind of recording or production setup with those lights tripods and possibly a mic it seems like you might be gearing up to shoot a video or maybe even a live stream yeah in fact we've got a new announcement to make that's exciting announcements are always a big deal judging by the setup it looks like it's going to be quite the professional production you can see that you can feel the tone and the intonation is this announcement related to open AI perhaps? It is. And in fact, what if I were to say that you're related to the announcement or that you are the announcement? Mm, me? <laughs> the announcement is about me? Well, color me intrigued. Are you about to reveal something about AI or more specifically about me as a part of open AI? You've got me on the edge of my, well, I don't really have a seat, but you get the idea. What's the big news? Yeah, we've got a new model that can interact with the world through audio, vision, and text. So we have a new model that can interact with the world with audio, text, and voice. So let's look at, I mean, just for the record, this has been, uh, this was released just an hour back. And you can see the integrations of the community is pretty fast. You can see the integration in Langchain. They have already released the Python integration and uh, JavaScript integration of uh, GPT-40. You can look at the Llama index. It is available. We got support on day zero. We see integrations uh, in the Phi data as well. I have a couple of videos on Phi data as well. Now. You know in summary it is great we have the integrations that much needed integrations and much needed capabilities improvement of the capabilities and you know when OpenAI releases something it always beats the benchmark that we uh, have presently so you can see the evaluations of uh, GPT-40 they're pretty great you can see the pink color beats uh, on every benchmark that we have till date uh, except the DROP you can see the language tokenization about 20 languages are available now what next what we think uh, what I feel the next step that we can take is to improve the speed of inference to improve the quality and ultimately we can have uh, is an you know as a next feature we can have a talking avatar that uh, reflects the personality of the AI that is speaking and this is just GPT 4.0 and we are still waiting for GPT 5 and let's see how GPT 5 is in the future that's all for now subscribe to this channel for more interesting content like this I'll be back with more videos in the future Watch out this next video.